Alright y'all, now y'all already know who it is and y'all know what the fuck it is. It's your boy Boss P and this is Who's the Boss and am I tripping or is NBA Youngboy not the hottest dude in rap anymore? Now recently Lil Durk was in an interview and um, he was asked about how much money he ever was offered for a show. My, my man said 400,000, 400 stacks for a single show. And this wasn't no long time ago shit. He said this shit was recent y'all. What's up, you be on the whole weekend. I be turning some of that shit down. They be looking at me like, man, what the fuck? You crazy. Why? Because I don't think, like, all money ain't good money. What's the most you turned down? The most I turned down. For sure. And this was recently. 400. What's the reason? Relationship-wise. So, I'm thinking to myself, right now, NBA Youngboy can't do shit. You know what I'm saying? He's out there in Utah with, with his uh, teacher from like third grade or some shit on fucking house arrest or uh, waiting to go to fucking trial. You know what I'm saying? Lil Durk is killing it right now. We, we already know what he did last week as far as the sales and numbers and shit like that. NBA Youngboy and the baby put out a project together. That shit didn't do as well. Not nearly as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm wondering, has NBA Youngboy lost the top spot in rap? I'm thinking to myself, maybe he has. I'm thinking to myself, maybe uh, Lil Durk is the man right now. And um, yeah, man, if you getting off with 400 stacks for a show, 400 bands for a motherfucking show, I mean, I mean, that really says something. That really, really says something. So I don't know where this was at. Maybe it was overseas. Maybe it was over here. I don't fucking know. But 400,000 to 400,000. Anyway, Lil Durk was like, he turned that shit down and he did so because of relationships. Now, I'm thinking to myself, could this be a situation where he's like, hey, man, I can't fuck with you off the strength that, you know what I'm saying? Mm, we, I mean, we all know his gang affiliation. Could it be related to that? I don't know. But I'm saying to myself, God damn, somebody offered me 400000 to show and I turn that shit down. I'm going to look like I'm crazy, which is exactly what he said. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of bread. But anyway, man, I just want to put that out there like, fuck. Like, easy. $400,000, that could cop a house. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a house. You know what I'm talking about? He's getting off of the house to do a show and he's turning that shit down. That tells you how well he's doing right now. And if he's willing to put his um relationships ahead of that shit, you know he ain't all about the money. You know what I'm saying? That's a real dude right there. But yeah, man, that's all I had to say about this uh, Lil Durk and turning down $400,000 for a show situation. You know what I'm saying? Now, for all my bosses out there, I'm talking to y'all, man. Uh, I think it's time for y'all to boss the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, like and subscribe to my shit, man. Uh, that's all I got to say, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with me so far for a minute now, and I appreciate that shit. You know, we always growing. The channel's always growing. So help a brother out. You now I'm talking about like and subscribe and become part of the family, you heard? And until next time we meet, please be safe. Watch your back and wear a condom to catch what comes out your nutsack, you dig? It's your boy, Boss P, and I'm out.